In the previous video, we arrived at a verdict that the best anti-detect browser, the one to currently use, is multi-login. But if you can remember, we didn't finish that video because to get the most out of an anti-detect browser, you need a proxy. Same problem. Which proxy do you pick? There are lots of proxies, some cheap, some expensive. I have tried all of them and the proxy that I can definitively say is hands down one of the best proxies in that it has a perfect price, not too expensive, not too cheap, and quality, absolutely no compromises, is Nod Marvin. Here is the Nod Marvin homepage. And as you can see, they have loads of proxies from different locations. And the one thing that makes Nod Marvin stand out is this industry fast ip filtering what happens is when setting up an admarvin proxy you have the option to set up a filter that only allows you to get access to high quality proxies these are like ip addresses that are clean you don't get any captures and you look like a legit legit user who's from the us or from any other country that you're targeting as you can see you have an option to try out admarvin for just 399 dollars a month and once you've done that and you want to get a purchase then there's a link down there that you're going to use and you can use this code at checkout and you will get 9 gb for 30 euros a month the good thing about node marvin is you can decide to pay slightly higher and pay as you go by pay as you go it means that they never expire so the same 9 gigabytes will be 35 dollars but you can use this forever for good they won't expire now let me show you my dashboard and Let's go ahead and set up our node Marvin with our multi-login. You can see I have 10 gigabytes here. I also use it quite actively. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to proxy setup. Basically when you go to the proxy setup, you get two proxy types to choose. You can choose the residential proxy, so you can choose mobile proxies. In my case, I, just, I choose mobile proxies because mobile proxies are more high quality and less less detectable. The IP version doesn't matter. So for the country, in this case, we're going to be opening united states account so we're just going to choose united states region it doesn't matter you can choose any region that you want i tend to choose regions where i know labor is not expensive so most of these online sites would usually pay minimum wage of ten dollars an hour in some in some u.s states it's not allowed the minimum wage is above ten dollars an hour as such if you're from such states california and such and such you won't get access to work so usually pick something like Alabama, something like Georgia, something like North Carolina is okay, such a state. In this case, I think I'm just going to go with Alabama. Then the city, I don't mind. What you're going to do is pick any of this. In my case, I'm just going to pick T-Mobile. Then keep it as sticky as possible. And in this case, IP quality filter, perfect. Then here are your details. What you're going to do now is... Let's go back to multi-login. Let's continue with our profile creation. You remember we had reached somewhere and we just recreate it. Then when it comes, so everything is okay as I told you. I'm going to run it in the cloud. It's going to be macOS. I give it a name, add a note, pick whatever browser I want. For cookies, I'll select mixed cookies from different websites. And after that now, we were here in the proxy category. Now there's this proxy from multi-login, but no, 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 no. You don't want to use that. It's low quality. It's not going to get you anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick custom. Then I'm going to say SOC 5. Then I'm going to come here. And what I'm going to do is make sure I also select this to be SOC 5. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And I'm going to do is copy the username. Come here. The username goes to the login section. Come here. Copy the password effect. The password goes here. Come here. Copy the IP and the host effect. The IP and the host goes here. Come here. Copy the port number. That is perfect. The port number goes here. Then just click check to confirm that your proxy is okay and everything is fine. So this is your proxy. The timeline is in America, Chicago. And what you do is just click create profile. And the magic happens. Your profile is created. What you're going to do is just launch the profile. And just like that, the profile is going to open. And the first thing it's going to do, it's going to go to whoaip.com. And this website is going to tell you that, hey, 
This is your IP address. It is in Alabama, United States. It's a T-Mobile. It is not a VPN. It is not a proxy. And there's a particular website I usually visit to even get more inside. It's called whoa.com. So whoa.com tells me my IP. I'm in Coffee, Alabama. It's T-Mobile. It tells me it's silly. It has like zero, zero, zero risk. I'm really okay. My IP address is fantastic. There's another one called pixelscan.com. You can see this, this particular proxy is so high quality that when you Google something on Google, it does not tell you, hey, you're a robot. Click this, click this. Other proxies, just go ahead and try. If you purchase the proxy, do what I've just do and set it up. When you search something like pixelscans.com the first time, you're going to be asked to do all those things to confirm you're not a robot. I just go to pixelscan.com. So this word.com is perfect for checking your IP, the quality of the IP, just to make sure everything is fantastic. Then pixelscan.com is perfect for testing your browser fingerprint. Well, let's do a fingerprint check. It's collecting data, collecting data. Can you see? The fingerprint is consistent. So the fingerprint in this case is consistent because we're using multi-login. The proxy in this case is perfect because we're using node Marvin. And just like that, we have our setup perfectly set up, our anti-detect browser, our proxy setup, links to both the anti-detect browser and the node Marvin one are just below the videos. You can go check them out, finish your setup, and then come, let's open accounts and let's start making money.